Munchkins and welcome aboard to another long time awaiting unboxing video of complete and other <laughs> Welcome on in. This is your hamster lady of Munchie's Place. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Hello there. Headbagging introduction aside, let's get down and dirty with bad cage reviews. This just came out to PetSmart and I've been asked by you guys out there when I'm going to review it. Oh, that ladies and gentlemen is today. So after work, I'm really tired. I have a really massive headache. I was cleaning yesterday, unfortunately, on my birthday and I was cleaning up some mold. So, uh, throat hurts, but today, because of the chaos that is my channel, that, uh, we're gonna be reviewing this. Um, the 23 by 18 inches is not adequate space. Hamsters in the United States need at least 450 square inches of floor space as a minimum. However, bigger is better. And at the rescue that I manage here in Washington, that we advertise for Syrian hamsters 600 plus square inches. Now in Germany, I've been told that it's way past 860 square inches, but due to different laws when it comes to countries, as well as what is available in your country versus that of another country, say for instance, like the Philippines and or maybe Mexico, there are places that don't have the resources that we have. So lately there's been companies coming out to different parts of the world saying, hey, we have this amazing product and a lot of people love it. It's called Night Angel. We just need more people people and more companies to be invested in larger sizes because obviously the demand is there and people are realizing our smaller animals need to not be treated as desk objects, all right? Because this right here, I could tell you, it's just gonna be on some child's desk and it's gonna be filthy and dirty. And because you're not really able to see or interact with your animal because of how small the confinement is in this space, it's going to discourage people. Now, I don't think I've said this in the past because I've really been targeting on size, but I want to target when it comes to how you enjoy your animal. If you're not able to take out the animal, if you're not able to see it, if your animal is constantly cowering in fear because it's not being provided with the right natural resources and materials and the space isn't open enough, it's claustrophobic, then your animal will not want to engage with you and or it may be difficult for you to engage with your animal. It is unfortunately a vertical cage. A lot of this is vertical because there is a big pan down below. However, it's interesting because they are actually showing here that there is gonna be more pan depth. With more bedding and more depth, the animal can naturally burrow like they would in the wild when it comes to mice hamsters, and even gerbils. And adding more bedding means less ammonia smell. So why don't more companies do it? Money. And just not knowing any better and not improving their design because if it makes money, why change it? So for companies who do change for the better, great. For those that just are stuck in the past and not providing enough care, not okay. So we're gonna be unboxing this right here today. And I will go over with what I see once I open it. I know there's gonna be probably some comments that are like, oh, you call it bad before you even see it. I've had experience with small animal care. We run our own rescue and we try to advocate for bigger is better. There is obvious changes in health and behavior that we've seen being reflected when it comes to a smaller enclosure versus that of a larger enclosure for them. In the beginning when I started doing better with my own personal keeping, I noticed how much of a difference it had on my small animal. And I really wish people could see that. So that's why I might be loud and annoying in these videos, but hopefully that is for your benefit and your hamster's benefit or mouse or gerbil. By the way, this contains plastic and if any sort of piece in here, say for instance, this pad, if this is plastic and there is a knob or a section that they can start chewing around, they will escape. So I would not recommend it for gerbils. It says ideal for hamsters, gerbils and mice. Cross out that gerbil part, no. Do not. Keeps your pet secure while cleaning and then easy access doors. So that's a thing that I have issues with of past smaller enclosures is that you have a tiny door. You cannot stick both hands through it or it's just a struggle. Be sure to observe your pet's behavior with a new item, remove and replace home if it becomes damaged. Now that's good advice because you don't know how many times I've seen people duct tape the KT Critter Trails after they break thinking that they're okay. No, it's a really big risk for escaping and I really wish people would take that more seriously. If it is damaged, throw it out. No need to keep it. Don't be a cheapskate, all right? If you were to get a pet, 
make sure you have the proper funds. If something goes wrong, replace it. If something isn't right, replace it. If you accidentally run out of food or if your food gets moldy, you don't just say, huh, yeah, I'm not gonna feed my animal because I don't have money for this now. No, take responsibility here, all right? I don't wanna be jamming this into your throats, but it's just getting really tiring when people are like, ah, this is just gonna be an easy task, and then they realize, oh, it's more of a responsibility that I just don't wish to commit to right now so I can easily pass it off to a rescue and or to someone else that doesn't know any better and doesn't want to do their research. And we just say in our Craigslist ads that they're easy to care for, not providing any information and not asking the people more than likely if they have even done any research. I am a lefty, so we will use lefty scissors because I hurt myself on righty scissors and that was not fun, not fun, not fun. If anybody out there is actually a lefty, I would love to hear it in the comments below. Okay, now I see what it is. It's completely wrapped from all sides. Gently. There we go, there we go. Wow, that's actually packaged pretty well, so good job for that, PetSmart. Wow, they actually packaged the wire better. Okay, I will make a note of this. If you have a company that doesn't really take care of the wire when you receive wire and a lot of it's bent or damaged or not properly wrapped, that's a bad company. Don't buy their enclosures. Wire will still bend, but there is different types of strength when it comes to metal. You wanna make sure that when you buy a home for your small animal, it's secure, because they will want to constantly escape. So, from my vocal opinion, I will tell you what I feel of the strength of this metal. It's actually freaking sturdy. Wow, I'm impressed. This metal is not like I've seen in the past. It's not bending, it's very strong. It's actually a good quality metal. Holy moly. Well, I kinda wish it was bigger. I'm very sad. Like, the idea of it is interesting and I like it, but it's just not big enough. Oh, they're all in here, so how do I get to it? Oh God, is this like a, a drawer? Can I easily pull out the drawer? Can I not easily pull out the drawer? How do you, how do you pull out the drawer? In order to get to the instructions inside to even take this apart, you must take this apart without understanding how to take it apart first because the instructions are inside. I move this flap right here down and now everything comes out. Okie doke, here we go. <laughs> back and forth instructions right here. So that's the front, that's the back. Because I take too much time and I don't like editing my own videos of which I am the one person to edit these videos with, I'm going to completely ignore the instructions of which I said, please follow. You have your base here, which I will now go measure. It's exactly like a plastic drawer, which I guess gives you the vibe of a bin cage, but it's not quite a bin cage. It is exactly six inches high. Actually, this is not turning out to be too bad. Six inches high, but it's still the size of Nike shoebox size. No, don't keep your hamster in a shoebox size. So let's put this back in, pretend I have bedding inside of here. Hamster, wait, did I put this in the wrong way? No, I put this in the right way. No, 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 get it, get it up. Wait, no, don't put it down. Okay, not yet, stay there, no, no, no. Stay, stay. I feel like it's stuck for some reason, why are you stuck? Up here, it needs to go through the slits right here because that's where the ladder is. So there's a hole right in between this right here that I'm supposed to be jamming it into. Here we go, beep, beep. Do I not activate the ladder? How did it go down before? How did it go down before? Did I pull it out? What? What? Why would you go down anymore? Oh, you gently push the ladder to the side and it falls down. That's how it secures it. Apparently when you push up, there's a locking mechanism right there. So with my motion, hopefully you can follow what the ladder is supposed to do when it locks and unlocks. But now, as you can see, the ladder's inside of here, so the animal can get in here. This would provide enough bedding depth for them to at least make a burrow, because not all hamsters want to use the highs of which you get them. They want to create their own burrows. They want to be in the burrows, or they want to be above climbing on ladders and ledges and things like that. So each hamster is different, and when I talk about hamsters in general, mainly I talk about Syrians. But what about mice? Can mice do something like this? Well, let me just double check with the dimensions because I can't think of that at the top of my head if this would be appropriate for mice. Because mice actually benefit from a lot of enrichment, a lot of things. It doesn't necessarily mean that they need bigger space. However, there is still a minimum because you don't want to go too low because 
because if you go too low, you won't be able to put a lot of stuff in. And mice need to be constantly stimulated. They cannot, it's just like with a, for instance, a working dog. They can't just be lazy around the house or else you're not gonna stimulate them. They could be bored, have destructive behavior, etc. You got to work that dog. Just like you gotta keep your mouse entertained. They have to have materials in there. A natural looking sub is a great setup for them and I would highly encourage it. But anyways, right now I am trying my best to stick this in between here. You see that? It clicks, sort of, because it also pops out too, but that's a, that's a concept here. It's, it's supposed to stick inside of here. Oh, <laughs> it wouldn't be a fungi video without pain. <laughs> Every time I try to stick them together so that it could just, you know, it, it goes in like this and it, it stays, um, one side falls and then the other side falls and the other side falls and it's, it's driving me insane. Like right now I had to pull apart so I can get this through. This, this is, this is not what I had to say! This is harder than a preview cage, right? These are not clipping like they should. Here we are. So yeah, you cannot clip them together before placing it on the pan itself. It has to be clipped on the pan. This is supposed to secure it underneath here for a better grip. And that's great. Yeah, this, this actually works. I like this. This is good. Um, wait, what? 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 This is very interesting. Okay. There's a designer out there that's like, huh, what can I do that's very efficient? This, you stick it inside the hole here. Perfect. However, once I stuck the bottle inside here, I feel like you can easily push it out. And that's the thing. The hamster is going to try their best to move stuff out of the way. So if I could easily detach that from the sides there and there's no security afterwards it's just a push in and pull out and because this is plastic too this can easily just over time not work so i'm curious to wonder if there is going to be stoppers available for this enclosure where people don't want to use this because it will be flawed in the future even though it is pretty ingenious right now i i, I do see flaws in this i hope it's possible to actually stop that otherwise it's just gonna be an open area and i'm also wondering too if kt stoppers would work for that because there are some cases where the tie tails can work with kt stoppers and i actually recommend kt stoppers over tie tails because tiny tails is made out of rubber hamsters easily chewed that up and escaped. This is just a lazy way of putting a bunch of seed mix in here and not having to deal with it. Um, what you should be doing is regular feeding. You shouldn't just be throwing a, oops. <laughs> you should be making sure the proportions are okay because what happens is if you fill this all the way to the top, they'll keep taking and taking and taking everything out of this and they're going to store it inside of here. And what's worse is they urinate around it to protect it. There will be some food that will get moldy as well as their poops will get moldy. It starts to smell and you're wasting a whole bunch of food by doing it this way. While this might be genius, it's also not appropriate for the species of which that they are trying to gear this towards. They're not like cats and dogs. And even then, I don't free feed my cats and dogs. I make sure that it's always at a portion in time because you could overfeed and be very wasteful. This is just gonna, oh. Oh, did I break that? I tried pushing it in, but because it's plastic going inside a plastic, that's a very snug fit. That really sounded like I broke it there, but I didn't. Let's just measure the pan because what they're doing on the box is measuring the farthest width, the farthest length and the farthest height. Now the width, as you can see here, goes from here to here, not here to here. This up here, more than likely, you do not want to put bedding on top of because it's gonna come out. So right here from the pan, you got at least 13 and what looks like almost a half by what looks like 15. So it's roughly about 200 inches of floor space. 200 inches is the equivalent of a 10 gallon tank. Although it doesn't look like it. When you take a look at the top, you're like, woo, that's actually kind of big. But when you actually look at the bottom, it's not that big, that little portion down there. But before I end this, let's check out the compartment here. Wider access and it's two access points, which is great. Oh no, I'm praising PetSmart. I'm so I'm sorry, people. They are getting better about their designs. 
However, this is still not appropriate. Could this be hooked up to something else, however? Possibly. Would this be beneficial for mice? Now, for the rescue, we really don't um, look at 10-gallon tanks as appropriate for mice. I feel like you couldn't even put a whole lot inside of here. Oh, I almost forgot about the wheel. This is indeed a 6.5-inch wheel, and it's quite silent. And the reason is because of what they have inside of here. This is completely different from traditional styles where there is this big pointy knob and because of the way that's designed the big pointy knob actually slides with the wheel itself back and forth which causes noise to happen it feels great they've improved on their wheels and their stands and guess what guys the problem that i had with some of these smaller cages is that when you put stuff inside you can't get it out without taking the whole thing off at least you can put a 6.5 inch wheel inside of here now 6.5 inch wheel is not appropriate for anything but a roboroski that's a minimum size wheel for roboroski i personally like eight inch wheels for our animals because it could also fit mice and different size of dwarf hamsters roboroski just happened to be the smallest domestic species of hamster out there that would be appropriate for this anything smaller is just torture so kudos sort of but however the thing is on the packaging itself it says hamsters it's very vague it doesn't say which five species of hamsters but it does have a Syrian hamster on it saying oh this is appropriate right oh the wheel is appropriate right no no I do like the design it is smart but it's not big enough and without me twisting this in it's it's spinning can, can you see that hopefully you guys can see that it's spinning and it's silent and it's working and there's no screeching or rubbing against the the metal it's actually working you're going to be disturbing your animal every time you want to take it in and out now the problem is is that you have to raise the ladder first in order to remove the tub so if you're trying to interact with your hamster below you can't do that unfortunately that's the only downside so if your hamster's up in this area great you would have to go like this and try to get in here like that or you just have to raise your ladder back up which actually how do i raise the ladder up without pinching oh that's how there's actually a knob right at the bottom which i'm sure hamsters will chew up this knob too this knob right here you help to pull it up and latch it so that way you can actually pull the tray out which is proving to be difficult oh that's right guys we have to pull this down and it releases it you are going to be moving your hamster in and out now maybe not that aggressively but there are people that might struggle to get this out because it's not a smooth transition when pulling it in and out and it's plastic too so it's gonna make a bunch of noise i do like certain aspects of this but i don't but i know this is still considered to be a bad cage with everything that i've said to you guys out there where 450 is the minimum in the united states for hamsters i'm not testing how well this water bottle works I'm not testing how the food portion works. I don't want to put anything inside of here. I want to keep this clean because I am going to be returning it for my money back guarantee because I got the receipt and they have a 60 day return policy. Um, which by the way, I will highly encourage anybody out there who purchases the wrong items to return them. Even if you've opened them, even if you've used them, return it, get your money back. We are contributing a lot of waste out there, which really sucks because there's always going to be a positive and a negative. You are a consumer and unfortunately each day we have made choices that might benefit one area but it will subtract from another area so it's all black and white there's really no middle ground here but please take the information I present to you now and use it to how you want to shape your life and how you add to the space of which you live in in the world 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 this is made out of plastic I really want companies to stop using plastic and plastic that can easily be damaged once someone's done or they get tired of their animal because they can't get to it they're not interacting with it that often you name it they're going to probably discard this this is possibly going to end up in a landfill because people are not using it people are not going to recommend it and if somebody buys it and then choosing to upgrade later to something else there goes more material more plastic waste in our landfills is this recyclable more than likely however how recyclable is it we don't know but it's still a bad cage for a hamster and definitely the worst thing you probably put your your gerbil inside of because yeah there is definitely edges here there's edges that are keeping the metal parts in that if a gerbil were to get all of their incisors around that and start chewing it up they could easily escape this so thank you guys so much for watching today's unboxing video of the easy to clean habitat which i will say why would you say that i hate it when companies put easy to clean easy to take care of 
move. Easy, 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 easy. Yes, it's convenient that you have a pulley thing and pushy in thing, but this is a manipulative tactic. Easy clean habitat. I don't like. So thanks guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, hit like to show support because that really benefits the channel. Comment down below with what you think of this enclosure. Let me know your thoughts on this. Do you like certain things about it? Do you not like certain things about it? Are you conflicted? Hopefully no more of these, right? <laughs> it's better than the tiny tails, that's for sure. <laughs>